Hi Ari, it's Travis here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we defeated two elite abominations, Knucklerot and Luzran. We also slayed Darkon's lieutenants and saved some Blood Elf and Forsaken apprentices. We saved them from Darkon's scourge. And today, we are going to be turning in the quest Hero of the Sidori. Take Darkon's head to Lorthamar Theron in Silvermoon City. This is the beginning of a new chapter in the history of our race, Travadan. Our lands will be reclaimed, and we shall cement our bond with Sylvanas and her allies. Take the traitor's head to Regent Lord Lorthamar Theron in Silvermoon City. He'll be eager to hear the news. All right, so here we go. Let's take a flight over to to Silvermoon City, and yeah, this is uh, probably our last time Victory lies ahead. questing in the Ghostlands. It was Farewell. fun. Had a good time here. Really good time. Gonna... <laughs> I can't, can't believe I'm gonna say this, but I'm gonna kind of miss this zone. It's actually really good. It builds up well. It starts out, you're slaying, like, you know, some, uh, Nerubians and some zombies, and some, you know, some Scourge. And then it builds up. You know, you start fighting the tro Amani Trolls. And then you get into Death Home, and that's when we're gonna really picks up. I think Death Home a was a great spot, and I like how the Blood Elves and the Drain I have. It's it's a good starting zone build up. Like there's you, you fight up to a boss, like an end boss, which I think is great. And I wish they did that in a lot of zones. I wish every zone had like a, a tyrant, that was, you know, that needed to be defeated. Yeah, here we go, back to Silver Moon. Also, uh, Diablo 2 Resurrected came out today, and I wasn't able to play due to the error login, and I thought that was really uh, funny because the same thing happened to me years ago when the Diablo 3 launch occurred. We weren't able to get into server issues. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I thought it was kind of funny. But I'm cool with it. As long as they... You know what that means? It means that Diablo 2 is gonna... It's gonna have a lot of hype. And it's gonna be a... It's gonna be a good game. It might even have like a classic WoW... Vibe to it. I don't know if it'll be that big, but we'll have to see. I think... Okay, well, guys... This... That music has to be the Brewfest music. It's kind of funny how we're listening to this right now. Because this is not the Silver Moon music at all. Is this what this sound sounds like, really? I don't want to listen to this. I don't want to hear these goblins, like, talking the whole time. I can't feel my legs. I've never heard this before either. My entire time playing WoW. This is such a meme. Come on, this turn on the. It can't be like this forever. Look, guys, I want to check something quick. Okay, I'm gonna turn. We're gonna turn the music off. And I'm gonna turn it back on. Let's see if it. Let's see if it does it again. Okay, we're in Silver Moon. Little bug, little bug there. I had a feeling there's a bug. We're not in. We weren't in the Brewfest area, but for some reason Blizzard wanted to troll us again today with uh, some Brewfest music while we sit in Stormwind. But yeah, figured that out. Okay, inscribed leather boots. Let's go. Maybe I'll put in leather boots. I wonder how much you think these are. Like, level 13 leather boots. Check it out. Got some stuff to sell, guys. 10 to 15, I guess. We'll go. Check it out. That was pretty funny listening to all that. 98 silver for these bad boys. It's a pretty, those are pretty nice boots. Much, uh, 
I'd say probably a lot better than the ones I got. So we'll put these up for uh, 75 silver. Maybe somebody will purchase them. And then what else do we have here in our bags? We haven't been to the auction house in quite some time, so I expect we have a decent amount of stuff to sell. So we got to get rid of this vendor. Northern Sword of Strength. So let's, let's check out the Northern Short Sword here. Looks like they're 89 silver. We'll put them up for... Put it up for... Uh, put it up for 88. There we go. Soulbound, Darkon. Northern Short, another Northern Short Sword. Wow, we got a lot of Short Swords. Here we go. I guess we'll put that up for 88 as well. And... We got an axe. Good two-handed axe. Twin bladed axe. Remember, somebody told me this tip in the in the comments. Like, sh shout out to you because it really helped me with uh, making these auctions a lot faster. Really, you just got to delete the the of the bear part or of sh of strength, and it just like finds the axe immediately. It's great. All right, so put all this up for sixty three silver. Hopefully, it sells. What else do we got here? Okay, we gotta get rid of all of this. And then we got some legs, ritual leggings. Of the whale, so get rid of the whale. Let's see if we got any ritual leggings on the auction house. Looks like these are the only ritual leggings. Got so much stuff to sell. Okay, so we'll look for these legs. There they are. Browse armor. I think they're leather, correct? Cloth. Cloth, legs. Get rid of ritual leggings. They're level 16. Wow. Well, let's do 15 to 18 and see if these any anything sells. Looks like good gold. We can sell these for gold. That's what we will do. There we go, that's done. And yeah. Okay, so yeah, that should be it. I guess we could check out these like rotting hearts, how much they sell for. 29 silver, we'll throw that up there. We don't really need the gold, but we might as well save up and try to get as much uh, gold as we can. Two gold each for the for the swift thistle. Which means we can sell. I'll sell this for fifteen ninety nine. See if that sells. What else? Crunchy spider legs. These never sell. Two silver each, almost three. Probably sell these for uh, I don't know, twenty-eight silver, so twenty-five. Maybe they'll sell. I think that should be enough. Oh, we got a bow. Let's see if we can get this bow up here. Light bow. Bunch of light bows on the auction house. Put this up for a gold twenty-two. I think our bags are cleaning up a bit. Should probably put these in the in the bank. Got a light feather that we could sell, I guess. Sell for a silver. <laughs> guess we'll throw it in for uh, a silver as well. Let's throw it. There we go. And that should be enough. That's enough auction house for now. Spinal dust. We just throw that out. That was for a quest. And then there's, oh, yeah, there's professions. Bill, wool bandage. We clearly, want, we clearly can get uh, our first aid to um, at least the next level for sure. Above 150. 
Our alchemy is kind of lacking as well. We could obviously upgrade that. Which I think we should before we head out anywhere. Valadash Malinore. So let's uh you know, make a couple of these. Don't have any minor healing pots e either. I want to make at least one defense pot. And then I guess we'll make another strength one. There we go. So we clearly need anything. to get more herbs. Get rid of these. And we got tons of junk. Got a lot of, a lot of, uh, leather working, tailoring, engineering. I guess we'll just hold on to these for now. Don't know if we'll use them. We have another eight slot bag. Probably could have sold that. And we got all this junk. The reckoning. All right, so let's go check out some profession trainers. Check out first aid and uh, wonder what our herbalism's at. Herbalism's at 92. I don't think a we can upgrade it. Probably should have herbed a bit more. I think we'll be all right. Um, let's see where first aid is. Death to all down who oppose exchange. us. All right, we'll head down there. And I think now we should be able to get the woolen, heavy woolen bandage. We'll finish that up. And then we'll talk to the alchemist, and then after that, we will have a chat with Lorthamar Theron. And we'll make our way to Undercity. So he's right here, right? Yep. Anaria Shola. Or we can learn. Okay, we can learn anti venom. Why not? Stay the course. And let's, uh, let's make some bandages. Having one of these episodes where we're getting our professions up. We had to come here anyway, so I think it's a good time to do it. We will persevere. Should be able to get it soon. 115. I don't think we'll be able to... What's uh, the next level? I wonder when the next level is. Probably like 25, I would assume. Okay, don't want to make another one. Can we learn heavy wool? Yep. There we go. Let's start crafting some of these. As many as we can. And we'll see if we can get the next rank of first aid. I think it would be 125, that's my guess. Okay, almost done. Let's see if it's at 25. If it's not 25, I don't think we're getting 30. Maybe 130 will be it. I'm getting lucky here. Oh, there we go. I knew we wouldn't get 130 with five bandages. One Time off. Is of the yeah, it is what it is. We could make a, a woolen one, though. Let's see if this actually ranks it up. What business have you? No. Damn Keep it. your wits. <laughs> we can't learn silk yet. It's too bad. Okay, so let's head over and we will try to find the alchemy profession trainer. So I know we could probably upgrade Our enemies that. will fall. Dogmas are located in the court we of the will sun. Have okay, so right next to where we need to go. It's good. And let's see how many of these. We have 20 empty vials. Pretty good. Maybe I'll get another stack of those. And we do want to start collecting some minor healing pots. Because then we can get the lesser healing pots. And start crafting those after. So we should probably start 
It's too bad we like need we actually need silver leaf. We really need silver leaf. I'm gonna buy some. Yeah, we're buying some silver leaf, guys. We got gold. Got a you don't have to worry about our mount, so we can buy like a couple, like 220 stacks of silver leaf, no problem. I hope they're they're cheap, but we're we're on Fairlina, so there's a lot of people playing, a lot of herbalists. So I assume it'll won't be that bad. Okay, so silver. I just put that wrong. It's all one word, right? Okay. 134 seems to be the price per unit. Yeah, that's the cheapest. It's pretty damn good. That's the cheapest 20 stack we can find. So we'll get two of these, and then that should be good. Now we don't have to worry about picking up silver leaf because I know silver leaf isn't giving us any uh, any experience right now so just get a couple stacks of that and we didn't really see much silver leaf in in the ghost lands we were mostly getting uh, these peace blooms so we, we looted so many peace blooms so now that's all balanced out and we can make like 20 of these minor defense pots which is good we're gonna need those. Shoot some fire arrows. Kind of reminds me of like Skyrim towns where they're always like shooting like these uh, these targets, and then you run up to the targets and you steal the arrows. Used to do that a lot in Skyrim. Okay, right, so here we are at the Court of the Sun, and we are going to go speak with the alchemist. Hopefully we can level our alchemy up. There's a couple new elixirs that we can get. Okay. You really put these alchemists out of the way. It's like in the back corner of Silverman. Okay, so where's there's the alchemy trainer? The eternal sun guides us. Okay, so we can learn Journeyman Alchemist. That's good. We troll blood potion. Great. Minor manas. Fine. Minor rejuvenation potion. Elixir of Fortitude. We'll take that. Lesser healing. Yep, we want that. Okay, so I know exactly what we're going to do. I'm not going to get the minor rejuve potion because... Oh, well, whatever. We'll get it. I don't think Chimera I'll ever use it. Maybe I will. She sells. Victory lies ahead. Actually, we'll just do the alchemy now. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make lesser healing pots. So I'm going to make as many of these as I can. And then eventually we should get up to uh, a decent level where lesser healing pots... These become green and lesser healing pots become yellow. And then we won't have to worry about health pots ever. I don't think we'll get to uh, the next level alchemy though. But I'm happy I'm doing this now because on Trap and Trav, my hunter, I kind of forgot about alchemy and fell behind quite a bit. Gonna have to buy some more pots as well. All right, there we go. The dark times will pass. Expert alchemist is one twenty-five. Okay. Stay the course. Does anybody sell? There's, there's a sales guy. Do not loiter. Okay. Just want to see what we need. Just empty vials. Oh, you, okay. Yeah, Keep miles. your wits about you. I feel like 20 stack. Go 
We have 40 now. Farewell. Should be more than enough. Then we'll make the a bunch of times these. Will pass. So I can still make minor healing pots. Probably make some defense pots. Make like four of these. Might actually buy some more silver leaf. We'll make a. Make another one of those, and then we'll make two of these. Why not? Now they're green. This is a good time to start making these. We can only make 12 because we only have 10 Briarthorn. And then after this, we'll go we'll go to Lorthamer. Because I know this has been a lot of profession stuff, but I got to do it. And I like to share the entire journey. Because, I don't know, it just shows us, like, everything that you do. And it kind of shows the complete process from 1 to 70. There we go. Got up to 85. Not bad. See if we can train anything here. We've got black mouth oil. I don't think we'll really use that. We will have justice. We're pretty far off from expert alchemist, but at least we're made some gains. We got lesser healing pot, which is big. So what we'll do now is do this. Could have sold my stuff, but we're going to Ender City anyways. We can do that there. Here we are. I always thought this was kind of cool. When they have like guards all lined up. Our pants, yeah, our pants don't really look like theirs, but I, I'd assume they wear pants like this under those uh, robes. All right, so there he is, Lord Thamir. Looks pretty cool. The towering spires and sparkling streets of Silvermoon are a testament to the indomitable spirit of our people. The Blood Elves will endure any hardship, overcome any obstacle, and emerge stronger than before. You seek audience with me, Paladin? I do not recall hearing of an appointment. Now that's one face I was not expecting to see too soon. This is quite good news, Travadin. In more ways than you could imagine. There were doubts about our capabilities among the potential new allies. Of what use could we be to them when perceived as unable to deal with our problems at home? This changes everything. No longer will our power be questioned. We'll be able to join the Horde as equals. Take this letter to Sylvanus, ruler of the Forsaken. She's already on our side, but the news of Darkon's death will be music to her ears. Prepare for a long trip, Stravadin. If all goes well, she will send you to Ogrimmar. Salama Ashalanore. Yeah, so like it sounds like we're going on a trip, guys. But the good thing is we can take a portal to Undercity, and that's what we are going to do. And we actually have another quest to turn in there. It's Gray, the Power to Destroy, which is the quest we did in Ragefire Chasm. But we never went back to Undercity to turn it in, which is kind of a shame. So we missed out on the XP for that. Here we go, translocate. We're in Undercity. I honestly never knew about translocate until this Let's Play. Oh, here we go again. It's brew fest, guys. So this is a pretty good trinket you can get from doing the brew fest boss. Oh, we went the wrong way. I always do that here. He's on fire. Oh, 
that's good. We might actually just make it to the elevator. It's funny listening to the dialogue of this Brewfest song. Alright, so let's head over and we'll see Sylvanas. I guess we'll do the good old... There we go, now we're back in the Undercity. Alright, so we have to go see Lady Sylvanas. Inge, an envoy to the Horde. I wonder what the letter says. Or if it says anything at all. You can actually read it. Esteemed leaders of the Horde, it is with great pleasure that I, Lorthamir Theron, Regent Lord of Quel'Thalas, announce the fall of the Scourge Commander known to us as Darkon Trithir. Darkon is a foothold in, on our lands, was brought up by critics of the Sindori race at numbers previous negotiations. We hope this event addresses any and all previous objections your graces might have harbored. Sign with it, they're on. I think it's, uh... That's it's this way. P.S. Our Grand Magister has received word back from Outland regarding Thrall's question. The answer is, with great certainty, yes. Alright. So I guess Thrall has accepted him? Accepted us? Or maybe Sylvanus is helping us join the Horde? It's kind of crazy. There's like three different t sets of like blood elves. There's the blood elves that serve Kael'thas. There's the blood elves that serve the Naru in Shatrath. And then there's the blood elves of the Horde. It's like three different tribes. So here we are. Now we just gotta go up in here. We'll see what Sylvanas has to say. This will be our second time meeting Sylvanas. Can't wait to do a BG at 29. I think the 29 BG is going to be much better than the 19 one. We're gonna be doing way more damage because there isn't that many people like decking out level 29 characters and doing BGs compared to the level 19 bracket. So I think we'll do alright. And that'll be the last BG and then we'll start seeing mounts. There'll be mounts in every other BG after that. Alright, so I guess we'll turn in the, the quest of Aramathras first. You think you can match the might of a dreadlord? There are a hundred other tasks awaiting my attention, Paladin. Do you have the books? Good, Paladin. <laughs> you have done well in serving the Dark Lady. Your continued perseverance and ambition will be of great use to the Lady's subjects. Return to me again in the future. Perhaps I will have other tasks for you that will aid the Dark Lady in her attempts at overtaking the Lich King and completely freeing the Scourge. Oh, male pants. These are actually way better than our pants. Well, that was worth doing. Let's check those out. Well, there goes the red pants. Kind of match our cape. Some new ones. What joy is there in this curse? Ah, visitor from Quel'Thalas. What news do you bring? It is done then. The foul traitor got what he deserved. You did this yourself. An impressive feat that proves that your face, your race, remains worthy, Travadin. I see that Lorthamar has additional news that will greatly improve his relations with Thrall. I haven't lost any love for my homeland or its people, as you know. I've fought tooth and nail for Silvermoon to be allowed a place beside Undercity and Ogremar at the negotiation negotiating table. 
This should silence any opposition. Take this letter to Thrall and Ogrimmar. As leader of the Horde, he will have the final say on accepting your race's pledge. I've added my own seal to the letter as a personal endorsement. Go northwest of the city and board the Zeppelin bound for Duratar at the tower. Okay, so we have... We have, uh... We have a decision to make. Like, I, I want to go to uh, Silver Pine Forest and try to do uh, Shadowfang Keep. But she's telling me to go see Thrall. Let's see what type of meeting with the War Chief. It's a green quest, so we probably have to do it sooner than later. So I think the plan is going to be we are going to go see Thrall right now. And I'm going to make Undercity my hearth. And we will hearth back to Undercity. And then the episode, next episode, we'll probably make our journey to Silver Pine Forest. Hopefully we have some quests to do there at this level. If not, then we'll just try to get a Shadowfang keep going. Esteemed leaders of the Horde, it is with great pleasure that I, Lorthamar Theron, Regent Lord of Quelth and Loss, announce the fall of the Scourge Commander known to us as Darkon Drathir. Darkon's foothold in our lands was brought up by critics of the Sindorai. Our race at numerous previous negotiations. We hope this event addresses any and all previous objections to your graces might have harbored. Signed, Lorthamer Theron. P.S. Our Magister. Our Magister has received the word back. We already read this? Oh my gosh. How didn't I notice? This letter bears the additional seal of Lady Sylvanas Wundarner. Okay, so that's cool. There's the innkeeper. Hello. Yeah, we've been doing first person for a little bit here. Let's get out of first person. And we're going to get to listen to uh, the brew, the brew fest uh, music again. Yeah, we'll go see the war chief. Might as well turn this bad boy in. We're six levels away from our mount. Can't wait for that. I wonder what other dungeons we could do. Also, Razor Fen Downs, Razor Fen Crawl. I haven't done that. I think we'll probably do Razor Fen Crawl. We won't be doing like Gnome Rag and Stockades. It's more like an Alliance dungeon to do, unless, like, I don't know if I find some more that want to do it. But yeah, probably. Yeah, Shadowfang Keep, Black Fathom Deeps will do. And then I'll try to do a Razor Friend Crawl, because I haven't done that one yet in a Let's Play, so... I'll try to go out of my way to get that done. Here we are, back at the Brew Fest. I don't know if there's anything for us to do here. Gordok Brew Vendor. He's got some ale. Looks like we can't drink any of it. You gotta be... 55 and up to drink at the brew fest. I'm gonna solve this junk though, too. There we go. Yeah, it's too bad. We can't even have one brew. Oh, this guy. There we go. It's a small step brew. The long stretch. The path of brew. Wow, that's pretty awesome. He's at store 835 mana for 24 seconds. Must remain seated while drinking. You spend at least 10 seconds drinking, you become well fed and gain 6 stamina. That's pretty good. Let's get like a 5 stack of that. In the last 2 days? Pretty cool. Straight. I guess we'll get ten. Let's take a drink of this. I wonder if we get drunk. I guess. I wonder if we get tipsy from this. So there's the buff. Stamina and spirit increased by six. Brewfest beers, great taste, extra filling. We're not really tipsy from it though. Oh my gosh. There goes a bat. 
heading over to the Eastern Plague Lands. Wonder if they're doing like Naxorama still. We're actually a little tipsy. We're moving kind of wobbly. But yeah, I guess that, uh, I th pretty much I think these, uh, what, the, what it means by two days, there's two days left on this, uh, on these. And then they'll probably, like, leave my bags. Probably can't hold on to them. Because I assume the, uh, the higher level uh, buffs are probably a little bit too OP. Okay. Just a right part back. of Okamar. That's good. We're just in time to get on the Zeppelin. And uh, hopefully we made Undercity our home. We, sh we sure did. That's good. Oh, nice Kodo. Zeppelins are kind of cool. I wish they gave Boomkins Typhoon. Because that would be so funny on these. Like, could you imagine you're, like, standing here? You're just, like, a level, I don't know, level 30. And then a, a Boomkin, like, comes out of stealth and then just Typhoons you off this Zeppelin you know, <laughs> to your death. <laughs> I would laugh. It's a shame that... That's one thing I don't like about retail. It's, it's such a shame that they don't do the Zeppelin stuff anymore. You know what I mean? Nobody takes the Zeppelin. You know? Everybody's always, you know, taking portals. The city literally has, like, 40 portals in it. And you can just go anywhere in the world from Ogremar. It's... I don't... I really don't like that. It's cool when you actually have to travel to some areas, even though, yeah, it is a time sink. But it adds to the RPG element of the game. It also adds to trolling. Like, if this was in retail, then Boomkins would do this. They would typhoon people off of the Zeppelin. I love Boomkin, man. It's one of my favorite classes. It's fun. Really fun. I don't know how it is in Classic and, and TBC Classic, but retail, it's great. Yeah, let's jump off. And then we'll slowly make our way to Ogre Amar. We'll listen to some more Brewfest music. And it's, oh. Has a paladin, but he looks like a shaman. That's the mount we're going to be getting. Can't really say it's going to. Yeah, it's, it's going to be the mount we get. It's a 60 speed. Are we getting that at level 30? The Honored Ancestors. This is the, the Horde Brew Fest. With the Ogremar one. Not many people outside of uh, Duratar dueling. I think it's mostly in Shadrath. Everybody's just in Outland. I need off the thrall. Oh yeah, look at that mount. That's the cool mount. That's their epic mount. The Chocobo. I always thought those looked like Chocobos from Final Fantasy. The Blood Elf uh, bird mount. I don't even know the name of them. Okay, so I think we'll go this way. This might be the better route to take. Maybe we should get some more. I don't know, maybe I'm probably gonna buy some more herbs. I think Briarthorn would be good, like another eight Briarthorn would be good to buy. Get these minor healing pots completed. Hopefully I came to the right. No. It's the other one. There's still some people hanging out in Ogremar though. I 
It's hard to keep the get the world in Azeroth, but I think if they, they worked on it more, it would be beneficial to the game. Like cities, new cities out in new lands is cool though. Like it was always hype checking out Dalaran. Even the Dazzler lore and like the city in, in BFA was, was pretty cool. Fire has been found for your auction of inscribed leather boots. Nice. Getting some sales. All right, well, here we are. We're going to have a little chat with Thrall here. The war chief of the Horde. The best war chief the Horde has ever had. I think my favorite war chief... Well, yeah, obviously Thrall's the best. But second, I would say... I would say Garrosh, man. Garrosh was like, he was tough. He was a badass. No tar, you know, he was like kind of... What is it you wish? I don't know, I just thought he was Welcome really good. To Orgrimmar. Have you he didn't put up with anything. The horde? You come to see me, Blood Elf, speak and be quick. I've no time for the formalities of your race. <laughs> wow. Thrall begins to read the letter. Sylvanas is a persistent one, so she sent one of Silvermoon's own champions. How does this change anything? Are you serious? Your people suffered a great betrayal by the Alliance. You've succeeded in fending off Darnassian attacks as well as spies from Ironforge. Now you've defeated the powerful Scourge Leader at the footsteps of your home. Your worthiness is no longer in question. It is now apparent that you need us and we need you. Return to Lothamar. Tell him I received his message loud and clear. The War Chief crushes this letter inside his palm. Welcome to the Horde, Elf. Alright, so that's how the Blood Elves joined the Horde, guys. They had to defeat Darkon to prove themselves. And there he is. The legend. That's it. Take a photo of this guy. After all. Won't be seeing him much. Probably doesn't like... Seen Blood Elves too much, but good thing we have our Hearth in Undercity. And I guess we are going to make our way back to uh, Lorthamar and finish this up. Did I pick it up? Please tell me. There we go. Yes. Imagine I didn't pick it up. <laughs> that would be a long trip back. Yeah, we'll just take the the little portal thing to the Silver Man and we'll do the report and we'll see what happens. This is actually really big news for the Blood Elves. And these aren't even really the Blood Elves. These are just like a Blood Elf sect that doesn't want to follow the Scryer. That didn't want to follow Kael'thas, pretty much. But it's it's weird. Because they kind of are like following Kael'thas because Muru is... Uh, He's at the bottom there, and he's getting siphoned. So I think... Siphoned for the Blood Knights, which is what I am. I am a Blood Knight. So it is kind of strange. I, like, you kind of wonder if they're working for Kael'thas or if they're not. Well, I guess they're not now, because they're, they're joining the Horde. I think Kael'thas has abandoned them, right? Kael'thas is in Outland. Only the Blood Elves in Alpha Outland really, you know, serve him. Other than the Scryers who serve the Naru. Okay, now we gotta find... Is it there? Yeah, yeah, it's right over here. A lot of traveling this episode.
All right, so here we go. Victory lies ahead. Allegiance to the Horde. Your work has helped advance our race's cause a tremendous deal. Not only does Thrall believe we're capable of handling ourselves in the face of the enemy, he also believes he can use our link with Outland as a means to reach his people. Not exactly the truth, but not a lie either. Brace yourself for great changes, Draven. We are now officially part of the Horde. The reckoning is at hand. There we go. Allegiance to the Horde. And we sold our lipo. It's pretty damn good. All right. Well, I guess I'll uh, we'll chill here, and uh, next episode we'll make our way out to Silver Pine Forest, or maybe we will be doing a Shadowfang Keep. But as always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.